Hi guys, I've been struggling to try and find some uh, answers with producing HHO economically and uh, I really did think this was going to be a, a nice easy five minute job but uh, there you go. Anyway, um, when I get stuck with things I, I often sort of stand back and I think well what happens if you make it ten times larger or ten times smaller or you know make it a big change and that you know so as you can see uh, a difference. Sometimes you make a little adjustment and you're not sure if it's better or worse. Uh, where you say, well, what if I make it 10 times bigger or 10 times smaller? And I thought what I'd do is I'll have a look at the water under the microscope. And I've been really fascinated. Don't understand it, um, but I've never seen uh, this before. And, um, I, you know, I hope you find it interesting, but um, uh, it, it, it's opened up another <laughs> Uh, avenue that um, I need to look at but maybe there's somebody else out there that's already looked at this and uh, I'm only turning over stones that people have already turned over but um, uh, I think it gets interesting because I must admit um, I have been looking to resonate the cell um, in terms of electrical resonance and, and uh, you know I, I think that's what um, is sort of ex uh, is in Stan Meyer's um, uh, patterns. Not that I want to replicate Stan Meyer, I want to do my own thing, but obviously if I can stand on somebody else's shoulders I'll be twice as tall as they are. Um, so uh, I thought, well, I'll have a look at the water, and is it the water that's actually resonating? And um, you have a look at this and see, see what you think. Uh, these are the two bits of wire I'm using as the electrode. They are 1.6 millimeters diameter. Uh, they're stainless steel of some sort. Uh, it's a bit of wire that I actually um, took out of um, the blade of a, a windscreen wiper. And um, I, I, I kept it because it's stainless steel and thought it'd be useful one day and I've cut the end off uh, square, I've actually filed it uh, so that it's, it doesn't come to a point, it's square. I bent the wire so that it, uh, it won't sort of roll around as I try and tape it to the slide and then I've got this thin copper wire which will be my uh, electrical connection and that is the end that I'm using uh, as the, the contact point there. That's 1.6 millimeters diameter. So this is how I've uh, prepared the slide. I've got the two bits of wire sellotaped to a glass slide. And I've got my electrical connection, a little bit of thin copper wire, uh, connected uh, one to either of the electrodes or each of the electrodes. And uh, that gap there is uh, around 1.8 millimeters. This is my uh, insulation uh, test meter. It's a high voltage test meter. It puts out uh, 500 volts DC. Um, I'll show you the waveform. It's a pulse, and when I press the button, uh, hopefully you'll hear that uh, high frequency. And I uh, say it's it's just DC that's chopped up and uh, it's measuring um, uh, insulation uh, at 500 volts and it, it's used normally for uh, checking out uh, electrical uh, circuits. I've got the output of the meter connected to uh, the two electrodes that I showed you. So you see this is quite literally a, a kitchen table <laughs> experiment. Uh, so these leads are connected to uh, the the probe and then I've just got that little wire there connected as I showed you before and what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a, a little drop of um, purified water onto those electrodes and just for completeness that's the other side so that's my connection there uh, this is purified water um, and we're going to be looking at uh, that 1.8 millimeter gap between the two 1.6 millimeter diameter uh, stainless steel electrodes. 
So what you're seeing here are the two electrodes. Uh, the lighting is um, coming up through the mirror from uh, the kitchen window here. Uh, so uh, I just change, set the mirror there. And uh, I'm going to switch it on for the first time and see. Isn't that interesting to see? The, the stopping and starting is me pressing the button. Look at that. Uh, so when one talks about resonating the water, maybe it's uh, not resonating the cell, but uh, actually doing something else. Um, I haven't worked out the magnification of that, but I bet you've not seen that before. Anyway, I thought that was interesting, and I thought I'd share it with you. Don't know what I'm going to do with it next, but uh, isn't that fascinating? Um, So obviously that's producing HHO in a, in a tiny amount, um, but I just thought I would look, uh, try looking at things a little bit differently, and um, there you go, that's what I've seen. Um, I hope you find that interesting. So that's, that's what we're looking at under the glass, it's just that, uh, isn't it fascinating to see in the microscope there. So this is what the, uh, the meter does when I press the button and that's uh, indicating there that I've got um, about 0.1 to uh, 0.2 of a meg bit variable and um, that is for uh, that uh, that little bit of water down there so I thought that was uh, really interesting uh, what I'll do now is I'll take the um, uh, the meter into the other room and um, put a scope on it and show you the output uh, of that I can't actually get my uh, oscilloscope to um, uh, lock on to the signal that I wanted to show you as it's it's all over the place but uh, anyway I'm back in I'm in the workshop and I've put a bit more water in the cell and um, or on, on the slide and uh, I do find that fascinating um, and say so I've literally only just discovered this or, or thought about this within the last hour uh, I haven't done anything else with it yet but um, I've recorded it as I've done it so you've seen it as I have um, but I'm, I'm truly fascinated uh, by this I've zoomed in there to see what's going on but uh, I think what I might do is uh, contact those slow motion guys, the slow mo guys, and see if I can't encourage them to uh, look at something like this um, with their high speed camera, um, as I think it would be uh, really quite something to actually see what is going on.
you could be forgiven for thinking that was uh, quite a, uh, a massive reaction but just remember that uh, it's, uh, it's it's uh, it's all happening down in that uh, tiny little pot down there um, So that's uh, a 1.8 millimeter gap between two 1.6 millimeter diameter stainless steel wires. I've disconnected the uh, the load from the little insulation tester now, and this is what I've got. But what we're looking at here is a, an AC ripple on top of the 500 volts DC and uh, I'm on 0 0.1 uh, milliseconds per division and I'm taking this as being two steps rather than one step with a glitch and uh, uh, this is um, uh, 0.1238 milliseconds there and um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point, mm, what should we call that? Seven point four uh, from those two. So that's that's what I'm seeing. I say that's point one per division. Um, put a bit of illumination on it. Scale illumination might help to see. Um, okay. Well, what have I got here? I've, I'm on a times 10 probe. I'm on uh, 50 millivolts per division, and I've got uh, let's see, let's call that one, two, three, four point two divisions. So I've got the um, uh, the uh, fluke meter connected to the output of the uh, mega I'm on the DC range there and uh, you'll see that's uh, 540 volts uh, DC and I'll switch it over to AC and there you see that's just that tiny AC ripple on top of the DC yet yeah, I think that it was that uh, AC ripple that was stirring up the water. So I guess the next thing I've got to do now is look at uh, water with DC on it. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. I found that uh, extremely interesting. One of my, my meters picking up uh, zero, zero, 0.004 volts AC. Free energy, there you go. I've won at last, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.